The stethoscope is one of the most iconic tools in medicine, but technology has taken it to the next level. Today, I'll walk you through my Littman Echo Core digital stethoscope and show you how its digital features like amplification, noise cancellation, and Bluetooth can upgrade your clinical skills. I found a case for mine on Amazon for about $20, and it also holds a bunch more of my medical supplies, so bonus. The scope comes with a charging cable and some replacement items like extra ear pieces. Just like any other stethoscope, there's a slight bend in the tubing and ear pieces. You want to have the ear pieces pointing away from you and toward the patient. Otherwise, they won't fit well and you won't be able to hear correctly. This stethoscope has a bell, the smaller piece, and a diaphragm, the larger piece. You can easily switch between which one is active by rotating the chest piece until it clicks. It rotates both directions and takes minimal effort to switch. Now for some features unique to a digital stethoscope. There's the charging port. Pushing the minus sign button decreases the volume. The circle is to start a recording in the app and the plus button increases the volume. And the buttons are super easy to press. Another cool feature is you can remove the digital stethoscope portion from the tubing and ear pieces and still capture heart and lung sounds in the app. This is also handy for teaching since you can connect a speaker to your phone to play the audio in real time. You can use the stethoscope without the digital features, which is handy if you run out of charge. To turn on the digital features, push the button and the white light will indicate it's on. Push the button back and it'll turn off. I kind of wish there was another indicator for when it's on. So I used a Sharpie to mark a dot on the on side. And sometimes the button can get pushed halfway. So be sure to check if you can't hear anything. Okay, let's check out the app. I already created a free account, so you can do that setup on your own. But to connect your scope to the app, open the app and turn on your scope. When it appears, click it to pair. You should be able to see the sound being transmitted in real time, like I'm tapping here on the diaphragm, and you can see the taps in the app. If you push the circle button on your scope, it will begin a recording. And then after 15 seconds or so, it'll automatically stop recording. The AI tools will analyze the recording and display some basic info like heart rate and flag any potential murmurs that were detected. You can also select a guided cardiac, lung, or wide exam option. The app will give you prompts for scope positioning on the patient and record about 15 seconds for each position. And then once you've completed the guided exam, it will analyze the data and you can associate it to an existing patient or a new one, and you can make any notes you'd like to associate with that recording. Cleaning and care are the same as a traditional Lippman. Wipe the tubing and chest piece with alcohol after each use, remove and clean the ear pieces regularly, and of course avoid soaking or using harsh chemicals on the digital components. It doesn't take long to charge. For me, it lasts several months, but of course this depends on use. The orange light indicates it's charging, and then solid green lets you know when it's finished charging. Okay, that's a quick overview of the Lippmann Echo Core digital stethoscope. I'll leave a list of my equipment in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions for videos. If you found this helpful, please click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Scrub Notes so you don't miss any future videos.